Story thirty nine of the Sun's Babies by Edith Howes. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Spinny Spider's Children. What are you making now? asked the red butterfly of Spinny Spider. A round cradle for my babies, said Spinny Spider. Really? And where are the babies? They are not here yet. Don't talk to me. I am busy. She went on working, spinning fine silk threads and weaving them carefully into a ball-shaped cradle. Then she put her little white eggs in it, and picked it up, and carried it about with her. "'Well, you are a silly,' cried the butterfly. "'Fancy carrying that weight about with you wherever you go. Why don't you do as I do?' "'What do you do?' asked Spinny Spider. "'I leave my eggs on a stalk or a leaf,' said the butterfly." The sun hatches them, and I have no further trouble. And do you mean to say you do nothing more for them? Nothing at all. Don't you even go to see how they are? Why, something might eat them. I lay them as far out of sight as I can, said the butterfly. That is all I can do. That way would never suit me, said Spinny Spider. You call me cruel, but I say you are heartless. It is my nature. I cannot help it, said the butterfly. As you yourself said, we look at things from different standpoints. Spinny Spider said nothing, but hugged her precious burden more closely to her. By and by, however, a wasp was caught in her nest, so she hid the cradle for safety in the darkest corner of her little house nearby, while she attended to Mr. Wasp. After a few days the children came out of their shells. What a crowd! They ran all over the little house and peeped into everything. Come out and see the world, said Spinny Spider. She led them out into the sunshine. Wicked Mr. Striped Spider was passing the door. Good day, Spinny Spider, he said. That is a fine family of yours. May I look at the little dears? No, indeed, cried Spinny Spider, for she knew he only wanted to eat them. She placed herself in front of them, and a great fight began. Mr. Striped Spider was hungry, and if he could only kill Spinny Spider, he might have the whole family for dinner. But Spinny Spider was fighting for the lives of her children, and her love for them gave her strength and fierceness. Mr. Striped Spider soon lay dead at her feet. Then the family had him for dinner. The Red Butterfly had seen it all. How you fight, she said. What are you going to do next? Come in and see, said Spinny Spider. No, thank you, said the butterfly. She flew off. She knew Spinny Spider's ways too well. The children began at once to make dainty little webs for themselves and to catch their own food. Spinny Spider saw with pride that without any teaching they were able to make their webs as perfectly as she could. They soon started out in life on their own account, each one looking after himself. End of story 39